Every chimpanzee has its own personality. Some are curious, while others are more cautious. Some prefer to observe from a distance, and some are just along for the ride. Whatever their style, chimps fascinate us. When we look at them, we see something of ourselves. They have faces lined with expression, hands that comfort, and gestures that communicate. But these are not imitations of human behavior. These are natural forms of communication that both humans and chimpanzees share. Genetically, they're our next of kin. Their DNA is nearly identical to ours. And like us, they're highly intelligent and sensitive. They can think, solve problems, and learn. Chimps are remarkably perceptive and caring. They live in highly social communities that are strict and complex. Males and females, young and old, each have a role to play. Keeping the peace means learning how to get along. Chimps communicate with one another in many ways. A gentle touch asks permission to follow. An extended hand is a peace offering. And comfort comes with a hug. They also communicate through body language. A play face is a gesture of fun. An open mouth is a greeting, and bowing indicates submission. Like humans, chimps also use their voices to communicate. A simple hoot is one way of letting others know where they are. Their voices are so powerful, they can be heard two miles away, and if the hoot becomes a scream, the entire community knows there's trouble. Chimp communities are run by dominant males. Females cater to them, and lesser males must pay them respect. Adult males are aggressive towards one another, but male chimps also seek the company of other males. Grooming each other and hanging out with the guys is more than just male bonding. They're forming alliances. Knowing who their friends are becomes very important when conflicts explode. Males, ready to do battle, puff up their hair until it stands on end. It makes them look bigger, more fierce. Being a dominant chimp means fighting for position, and most adult males wear the scars of battle. In the zoo, as in the wild, males compete for dominance, while females care for the young. A baby chimp is raised by its mother and tended to by other females. Baby chimps rarely make noise. They don't need to. They get all the attention they need from this nurturing and protective group. From birth, chimps have a well-developed ability to hold on, which comes in handy when it's time to move along. Chimp mothers let their infants explore wherever their wobbly legs can take them. A white tuft of hair on their rump shows their immaturity. Chimp mothers never scold the very young. They simply ignore them. Young chimps crave approval, and so a cold shoulder is discipline enough. All chimps must learn how to behave toward members of their community. This open mouth greeting and touch of a finger from a young chimp is a sign of respect towards its elders. When a chimp is about five years old, it's a little more independent and full of mischief. Still too young to be accepted as a grown-up, youngsters have to create their own fun. Sometimes they find a partner to play a game of tag. Playing helps reinforce the social bonds between individual animals. But other times, youngsters just have to hang around. Or climb a tree and drop in on a friend. Or climb a tree and entertain themselves. Young female chimps are fascinated by infants. They want to touch them and hold them. They mimic the actions of adult females. This is how they learn to be good mothers themselves. But being the object of that interest can sometimes be annoying. Chimpanzees are smart and inventive. They're the only animal, except for human, to make tools. Oh, 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 oh. In the wild, it's termites they're after. But at the zoo, a tasty concoction inside the termite mound triggers the same behavior. 
Making tools is something chimps learn. It's taught from generation to generation. Each chimp has a different technique. Some are more experienced and lick the tool first so things will stick to it. For others, it's not so easy. But persistence eventually pays off. In the zoo, most of their food is prepared for them by the keepers. Their diet consists of fresh fruits, vegetables, and primate chow. Wild chimpanzees must spend half their day foraging for food. In a zoo environment, foraging is just as important. Chimps also forage for grass, leaves, and insects. Maintaining harmony in a chimpanzee community is based on social interactions. One of the most important activities is grooming. Chimps come together in grooming clusters, meticulously rippling through the coarse black hair a grooming chimp gently pushes or pulls its partner into a new position. Grooming is more significant in chimp society than just keeping coats in good condition. For these highly intelligent apes, it strengthens relationships between individuals. Peaceful faces show just how pleasurable it is. Chimpanzee faces, like human faces, are full of character. You can distinguish them one from another. At the zoo, visitors have a rare and wondrous chance to observe the world of the chimpanzee. In the wild, however, this is a world in trouble. Zoos no longer take chimps from the wild. But as the human population moves deeper into African forests, chimp habitats are shrinking and some cultures are still hunting them. It is feared that in the next 20 years, chimpanzees may disappear from the wild forever. The human-like qualities that so intrigue us also put them in jeopardy. Because chimps are so similar to human beings, they are bred and confined in research facilities that further human medicine. But our needs have been harmful to many of these intelligent, sensitive beings. We have a responsibility to provide healthy physical and social environments for all animals in captivity. Here at the zoo, living within these grassy slopes, beneath a leafy canopy resembling their natural habitat, healthy chimpanzee communities are flourishing. This environment allows them to form social and emotional ties with other chimps. And their emotions are very similar to our own. Just as humans need one another, Chimpanzees also need each other. It's not just chimpanzees you see here. You are witnessing an international effort to preserve wildlife. It's an effort to ensure the survival of man's closest relative. A magnificent celebration of all creatures, great and small. Chimp works. <laughs> 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 